The end product of an effective testing program is a reliable missile system. As missile systems become more and more complex, the necessity for comprehensive testing becomes more and more critical. We cannot afford missiles which are unreliable. The purpose of this film is to acquaint potential users with the extensive reliability test facilities within the Research and Development Directorate of the Army Missile Command at Redstone Arsenal. In some instances, these facilities are without equal in this country. We feel that this laboratory, through these facilities, coupled with highly experienced test personnel, represents a significant in-house laboratory capability. It is through doing that technical capability is built. In the next few minutes, we will show you what we have to work with. The facilities of the Redstone Test and Evaluation Complex are designed to provide for comprehensive reliability testing from laboratory through flight. A missile system is only as reliable as the integrity of its parts. We have developed the capability for conducting extensive component testing to obtain statistical data on their reliability failure modes and safety margin. One of the more unusual pieces of equipment is this precision centrifuge. It is designed for testing inertial guidance components to extreme accuracies. Fast acting valves are tested under environmental stress while their performance is measured on this hydraulic flow bench. When necessary, component test equipment is tailored to meet the needs of a particular system. As confidence grows in the performance of the bits and pieces, testing progresses to subsystems and to major system components. During this phase, the hardware is put through its paces. This environmental test laboratory is the heart of our system reliability test effort. Here, the equipment and facilities for system laboratory testing and data gathering under controlled conditions are available. The facility is designed for testing hazardous items. The dynamic imbalance of a missile is checked to determine if assembling all of the parts into a system will have an effect on missile flight characteristics. The physical testing cell is used to prepare equipment for all sorts of testing. A special rain and salt environmental test cell is also available. Another cell provides cold test facilities. An entire missile system can be exposed to continuous simulated sunlight or to fungus and humidity, conditions such as those which might be encountered in tropical climates. One of the more impressive test chambers is this sand and dust facility. Here, larger missiles can be subjected to simulated desert sand or dust storm environments. This building lends itself to a comprehensive reliability test program with great flexibility. It is particularly effective in that a great variety of tests can be performed in one centralized location. This is a Betatron inspection device. Designed to operate in the 2 to 24 MeV range, the Betatron measures densities of the material under test to determine its integrity. The total energy range available in this one location 
is from 30 kV to 25 MeV. This makes possible the inspection of either small components or of the largest Army missile motors. Detailed radiographs can be made of questionable areas. In addition to the equipment and chambers in this building, other test cells are available. This 26 by 52 by 14 foot walk-in box for temperature conditioning has a range from plus 180 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Testing up to altitudes of 200,000 feet may be simulated in this 12-foot diameter by 51-foot long chamber. Stress is an environment, and this erector set structural test rig is designed to place static and dynamic operating loads on missiles and components, and to record their effects on the structure. Designers are interested in what happens to their system when it is delivered by parachute. We have the facilities and the instrumentation needed to conduct simulated airdrop testing for design information. We also have facilities for drop testing hazardous items. This could happen if a package system were kicked off the tailgate of a truck. In most cases, there is a need for testing an entire system in a captive test stand. For this purpose, we have a soft mount test facility for systems up to 36 feet long and 10 feet in diameter with up to 450,000 pounds thrust. This stand has two sides, one with no temperature control, the other an environmental chamber with a minus 80 to plus 180 degree Fahrenheit temperature range. Using this dual position idea, one stage can be fired in one side, and then a staging signal may be sent to ignite the second stage, thus simulating a complete two-stage firing. During static testing, it is necessary to measure very accurately side forces generated by missile control systems. To do this, we have designed and developed a six-component test fixture. This device is used in both the open side of the stand and in the environmental side. During a firing, data is transmitted by cable to the range control center for interpretation or retransmission to the computation center. Here, the static firing data is processed into meaningful engineering units for further analysis. Another area has a liquid propulsion test stand rated at 325,000 pounds of thrust and a horizontal solid propellant motor test pad which will withstand 10 million pounds of thrust on either side. To measure the attenuating effect of missile exhaust products on command signals, an RF attenuation test facility is available at this same location. All of the test stands are served by a central blockhouse. Several other test cells are available in a nearby area with thrust capabilities up to one million pounds. When precision measurements are required, instrumentation techniques must be kept up to date. We have the people and the facilities available to ensure that our data acquisition techniques will meet the continuing requirements of the designers. 
Automated data processing is used to permit rapid analysis of test results and feedback to the missile designers. Since flight testing is usually the ultimate proof of a system, we have established a flight test capability at Redstone. Smaller missiles may be tested at their full range, up to 9,000 yards. Larger missiles are tested at low elevation angles or with destruct systems which limit the flight range to the area of interest. All types of missiles have been tested. From fairly unsophisticated spin-stabilized artillery weapons, spin-stabilized helicopter rockets, helicopter launch guided missiles, to complex ground launch guided missiles. When in flight onboard data is required, the laboratory has the capability to design the necessary equipment for fabrication and to record and analyze the resulting data. The flight range at Redstone is well equipped with many types of fixed cameras, fast tacks, bow and nap, synchro ballistic, 70 millimeter Benson laner, as well as with Contravy's precision tracking instruments. For obtaining precise yaw data on low flying missiles, metric cameras are lifted 400 feet above the firing line. Tracking and plotting radar data are also available. Data reduction equipment is maintained as a part of the laboratory for the tabulation and analysis of flight instrumentation data. Acceleration testing may be accomplished on two sled tracks at Redstone. One is a 600-foot, three-degree ramp. The sled flies apart after firing so that components may be recovered. The other is a 1,250-foot flat track, especially designed for testing hazardous items. Retro rockets stop or reverse the sled. Damaged sections are inexpensive to replace. An instrumented hazards test area is available where tests to classify propellant hazards and to investigate sympathetic detonation are conducted. normal support is available to round out the test picture. From the planning of the test, through the design of test fixtures, from the fabrication of special equipment, to the writing of the test report. In short, there's a comprehensive complex of Army test facilities at Redstone Arsenal, specifically designed to meet the needs of a missile or component development program. These facilities are available to Army developers and others. Again, technical capability is built through doing. A missile system which almost works is not good enough. The success of our missiles is to a large extent determined by the test program to which they are subjected and to the analysis and corrective action which is taken. Intelligent test planning, competent test conduct, and a reliable product go hand in hand.